What's up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new Fox series titled Prodigal Son. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I think Prodigal Son does not belong on a Fox network. I'm sorry. I, I think this should have been like maybe like maybe, I don't know, maybe a Netflix series or a Hulu or maybe something more around lines around there. I mean, this really does not scream should be a Fox show, to be honest with you. Like, there are some really intense moments that I think should belong on maybe like a, uh, I don't know, like a streaming platform or a premium network or something like that. So, anyway, uh, now, in this, uh, it starts this, uh, the Walking Dead actor named uh, Tom Payne, who plays his character named uh, Malcolm uh, Wiley, play, a.k.a. Malcolm uh, Bright. And he's this uh, special agent for uh, the FBI, and uh, he's also the son of Mario Wiley, uh, played by Michael Sheen, who's also the, uh, who they actually call, um, the serial killer, his serial killer name is the Sergeant, and they end up calling him, like, the, uh, the worst serial killer since Jack the Ripper, which, wow, that's an interesting compliment, but whatever, um, and so, like, and now, not to mention, uh, you know, the character of uh, the character of uh, Malcolm uh, Wadi was actually supposed to be played by uh, Iron Fist dude, uh, Finn Jones. But he dropped out, so instead of uh, this actor named Tim uh, Payne ended up uh, replacing him. And I thought Tim, uh, Tim, uh, Tom Payne, I thought he was pretty good as the role. And here he has to, uh, and not to mention uh, Malcolm in this also has PTSD because he remembered, um, you know, seeing his uh, father, like, uh, you know, murder people, and he also saw his father get locked away, and yeah, it really opens with uh, the, with pretty much him seeing his uh, father, you know, getting incarcerated and stuff like that. I mean, it's not cool seeing, uh, a, for a kid to see his dad getting arrested or killing people. I mean, it's not, that's not a cool sight. And so this time, uh, so now, uh, since Martin is the, is working for the, uh, FBI, um, uh, he ends up, uh, actually hunting down a serial killer who's using his, uh, he's pretty much being, like, a copycat killer, and, uh, it's, like, using his, uh, father's work, like, using his father's work, um, to, like, uh, kill folks, and so you got, a uh, Lou Diamond Phelps, who plays, uh, the, uh, NYPD Blue, um, the uh, NYPD uh, police, and I don't. It's always cool seeing Lou Diamond Phillips in anything. I mean, come on, he he's Richie Valens after, after all. Who, who doesn't love uh, Lou Diamond Phillips? And you also got uh, House of Sage, who plays uh, who pretty much like plays uh, Malcolm's uh, sister or best friend, if you will. And I thought House of Sage was pretty cool. I mean, still a shame that she's not going to be on uh, the All Boy anymore, but. But, uh, yeah, this show, I'm not gonna go any spoil territory, because this show is really easy to spoil. But, man, uh, it's, um, Malcolm also tries to get help from his, uh, old dad to, uh, because, you know, the only way to, uh, track down a killer is, uh, it's pretty much having to wreck another serial killer's help, so it's pretty much having a serial killer to help them here. And he even thinks that uh, that his own father um, has something to do with uh, the murders, despite him being in jail. So there's that. And this show gets uh, this show has lots of uh, twists and turns throughout the whole series. I mean, yeah, this is like, I guess you could say like Law and Order, but with more killings and anything. Like, I guess you could say it's like Law and Order meets Dexter. That's what I kind of got from the show. Granted, it's not as gruesome as Dexter because it is on a Fox network. But, uh, yeah, this was a really cool crime drill, uh, pilot. And, you know, it can't be, like, can't be guessing from uh, beginning to the uh, end of the uh, episode. And I gotta say, I'll probably, I mean, I don't know how, if the show's really gonna last too long, to be honest with you. It does really seem like something that Fox will, you know, renew, to be honest. Like, yeah, this does not really seem like a show that Fox will renew. But I I gotta say, I thought uh, the pilot was pretty decent. I mean, invested in the 
in the characters and the uh, story and all. So I'll probably uh, continue giving this show a go. Chat the next few episodes. Anyway, uh, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, what did you do of the uh, season premiere, or I should say series premiere, of Fox's Prodigal Son? Uh, did you like the premiere? Are you going to uh, continue watching the show? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Team Movie Sign Off.